Welcome back. Also, I realize that there's supposed to be something in this game that kind of remains as a persistent threat throughout the entire... What happened to Hunter? It's supposed to remain a threat throughout the entire game as you play it. Which I guess is what Pastor is. But having nothing to mitigate him other than just paying him off over and over again every few minutes is hugely annoying. I know that you can have one particular species, the gorilla looking one. To, to get rid of him, which is something, but you're not going to have one of those in every garden. Where's that Kandari? There's so many pinatas. Why won't that Malwolf show up? Pester appears more than the Malwolf does. Did you hear? Someone actually hunted down an um Okay, now you both need lemonings. Because that one doesn't fly. Let's see if I can get these guys done with this episode. I uh, breeding them this episode, I mean to say. Naturally. Okay. Okay, so now you can come over and eat the hoggards as well. Because otherwise, they're not serving any purpose here. Come in. Even the sour pingadas can't decide them out to come into my garden. Why is that? Oh, this male smell is managed to. Oh, I think the male smell is. Okay, there we go. I've seen pingadas get stuck on that tree before. Okay. They're all three here. Making horrendous noises. Dragon Ash thing is old news. That's the last game. That someone is me. Okay, limiting. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Got scared by something else, and then also by this thing. I could have. Is that me? Are those coins? Can't tell.
Alright, that's one. Have either of you done your thing? Based on your happiness, I don't think so. <sighs> Come on, hunt things. Where'd that thing go? <laughs> and then they... And then they drown. Fantastic job. Where is this thing? Continuing to run in circles there. Pinata Island is a very violent place. Now you're most of the way there, dude. Could could we They're still alive, which means someone messed up their job yet again. Look at this guy. Wonderful. Finally, after all this time, by the power of looking stuff up online. Yep, that's a thing. Still a really weird angle to look at that from. This piece to your tower of sour, you will never need to worry about sour mallow wolves. I never did before, granted, but and I guess the only other th thing that really did was the uh, hacked up sour candy, which rarely caused me a problem. Morning. Here. Okay, our cats aren't very good at hunting, and consequently still haven't managed to actually eat the first one yet, but... We have a Mallow Wolf now. I forgot, these guys have red eyes, like, all the time. No, not all the time? I don't know. Responsibilities of family life. You are right. Family, here we come. They can scarf ruffians, but I don't really care about that. Six? Jeez, no! It's only raspberries this time, but man, I'm not doing that. Morning. Wow, I still ate from that L vanilla hunt. You said that last time. You got Okay. You two get out. We have things to do by the end of this episode. Well, whose fault is that? Again, this game's AI is offensively stupid. Well, your funeral. At least you're already in a cemetery. Shut up, Zedos. I like how everyone else is scared of this cat, and this one just by pure virtue of the one, being the one that's being hunted, they're not scared. Stop it. And then they run somewhere they literally can't be hunted from. Fantastic. If the hunting starts close enough, they'll actually attack immediately. Why is everyone running around this cat that they're so frightened of? That's how all the candy... Jeez. Very currently ends up over here. Oh, <laughs> need the life candy from very far away. Okay, so you've done everything you need to do. Ah, uh, the good old dying defense. Clever. But not enough. It was enough. This is a mate. Now 
They are not hunting. Do you need to come out here first? There. Jeez. Dude, you were just here. Giving ruffians chocolate this game needs to chill out with this guy. Okay. Uh, Other Mellow Wolf, I'm sure you'll want to eat lots of things too. Violent display has hello. Put these two in the mood, naturally. So you two go take care of that. Goopa, eh, yeah, fine, makes sense. I'll need a house too. cat. <laughs> Amazing. Please stop covering the screen. Finish off the episode with that or something close to it. Yeah, they decide after having started that they can do it now. It's, it's, it's weird. After having already done the dance. Or having already done the minigame. At which point they'll go inside. Even though the game's trying to say, no, you have too many pinatas. The game is weird about that. It cannot make up its mind of whether the garden's full or not. the Mellow Wolf House looks like. You're got He's 97, we're getting there. Cat egg. So... What have we learned today? How to make cat eggs, I guess. Uh, don't know if I want to make more of these guys or not. I'm not going to be able to get a Master Commander Award, I know that, so I should probably just sell the house immediately. Not huge on this particular house. You know, I don't necessarily want to make the cats stay outside or anything. But again, these guys feel less fitting here now that they're um, not black cats or anything, but I don't know. And next time we can uh, keep going with the Mallow Wolves, and then anything else that might appear here, like the Galagoo. I never did look at how to, how to get the Galagoo to appear. Hold on. Hold up here. Where is that? G Galagoo. Okay, Trouble in Paradise. Oh! I think they appear the same way that they do in the first game. Which I actually just did. Okay, well, instant delay should appear quite soon then. So we'll wait on that. Other than that, that should be everything. I'll wait for this cat to hatch. Which I don't think should be too long, because these guys aren't a super high level or anything. Any opinions, Leafos? I've 
got two brothers and a sister, you know. Thank you for your opinion. It's not a very useful tree anymore. I need a mass romance these guys. You know what? I guess that makes sense. Okay. Egg. What's making the shining effect? Is it? I guess it's because there are, there are like sparkles coming off of my. Yeah, there are sparkles coming off of my cursor since I have something selected, and that's what makes the sound, I guess. And. Kitten. <laughs> they do their getting up animation, that's kind of funny. Alright. In that case, jeez, still yet more to do. Uh, I'll have to decide whether to do the jungle or the aviary after this, but um, we're getting there in the game at least. Not a lot left. Still need to do some of the like equine pinatas. Still, well, I think that I still think of a decent number of pinatas, but we're definitely through most of the game at least. I'm pretty sure. We'll see how long this game takes compared to the first game. It would make sense if it took longer, but I'm not, I don't know if we're on track to finish as quickly as we did last time or not in the first game. We'll have to find out. Anyways, that's all for this week for me. Whew. This game takes a lot out of me. Bye, everyone.